What's up YouTube, FTW here bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on an effect on the intro I did that a lot of people were requesting. Uh, this is the intro right here. Let me get on my channel. Scroll down. Um, this intro right here, I believe it was. Let me mute the sound. It's pretty much all these spheres that are coming in and filling up an object or a letter N in this case. And that's the effect that we're actually going to be creating. I'll show you how to do. Alright, first thing we want to do, well, I'll show you. Uh, I just set up my output 1280, 720 uh, frames, 0 to 250 frames. Uh, added an ambient occlusion and a global illumination. The global illumination, I changed the uh, first two in that to low, the smoothing to weak, and the oversampling to minimal. Just to reduce a little bit of the rendering time. This computer is just one I make tutorials on, not the one I use for creating my intro, so it's a little bit weaker than my other computer. Okay, first thing we want to do is go into our objects and grab a sphere, change the radius to 10. Well, we'll resize that later. Let's just, uh, let's make it 5. That'll work. Okay, we want to go to simulation, particle. Selecting the emitter, grab our sphere and make it a child of our emitter. And then select on your emitter, change the variation to 100%, just like that. And uh, change the stop emission to 180. And we'll change the birth rate editor and the birth rate render both to 60. Okay, and then we want to select our sphere, go to simulation, dynamics, and create a rigid body. One more thing uh, that I forgot to do, select on your emitter and select show objects. Check the box right there. And you can spin this a little bit and you will see the spheres come out and fall down. Okay, one thing we want to do is select our emitter. Select our rotation tool, hold shift, and rotate this 90, negative 90, about right there. So it's negative 90 right here in your rotation. And we'll raise that up a little bit. Let's go back to zero on our time frame. And then what we want to do is we want to grab a MoGraph, mo grab a MoText. I'm just going to use a uh, capital letter O and change the depth to 30. Um, select on caps. This is not necessary, but I just always do it. Just a habit. Steps 5, radius 2 on both. 5 steps, 2 radius. Select the object. We'll change the height to 300. Just like that and then uh, we're also going to have select our mo text go to simulation dynamics create collider okay now we want to go into our overview and we want to select on our emitter and we're going to raise this up so it's at the top of our letter O and in the center or at least close to it select your well go back F1 and then uh, let's see if I can get into my top view nope it's not going to let me right now we'll just go up to the top and pretty much what we want to do here let me zoom in we'll go to our emitter select on the emitter tab and we want to use the X and Y to resize the emitter to fit in a square at the top of the letter O. So let's resize this down. Resize it down. Bring that up 
to about right there. We'll just make both of these values 30, which seems to be all right. And about right there like that. Okay. Now one thing we want to do is we want to go select our mode text and you notice these two little dots right here. Hold Alt and check the dot once, check it twice, and the object will disappear. Now it will still register as being there and should be able to fill up with our object. So we want to also select on our tag, our dynamics tag on our mode text, almost forgot. Right here where it says shape, change automatic to static mesh. Now hit play. And as you can see, the spheres come in and fill up our object. And you just pretty much play it out and make sure that, let's see, where's that? On particle, make sure your stop emission is when it fills up. If it doesn't fill up enough, then you have to raise up your emission. If it's too much, you lower down the emission until it actually fills up your object. That one looks pretty much what we need. Now let's just zoom out a little bit. We'll add a material. So let's double click down here. Double click our material. And we'll change the color of this to let's say red. We'll select reflection. Texture. Add a Fresnel. Make the brightness to around 15%. The mix strength around 20 percent. Another little thing I can, little tip I can give you is if you was making a material pack and wanted to have custom shapes on your materials, right click on your material and you got all these different shapes that you can create. And just like that, just a little tip. Let's add that to our spheres. And uh, just another quick way to add stuff to your scene without using soft box lighting and making things look better you can uh, grab you a plane in your objects change your width to 2000 and your height to 2000 drag this up above your your scene create a new material double click it uncheck specular uncheck color and select luminance you can change your brightness on this I'm going to use 200 percent and add that onto our plane. Now what that's going to do is pretty much add like a little reflection of lighting around it. Another thing you can do is create a, or just go to your objects and grab a sphere. Let's raise this up and put it about close to the center. Something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. And just grab this little tab and stretch it out make it big as you want let's add another material we'll make this one uh, change the color of this to white just like that and just add that to the sphere you just added on and if we hit a preview render it might take a little while my computer has been acting slow today I've been rendering out a lot of stuff just take a minute but uh, while that's doing that, those that are requesting free intros on my channel, uh, be sure to check, I mean, click the link on my channel that says free intro requirements. Pretty much just asking you to subscribe, uh, be active. I'm not, I don't really want to make free intros for people that's just going to come to my channel, get a free intro, then leave. You know, if you're going to be active, I don't mind making you a free intro. Just be sure to subscribe and subscribe to those in my sub box. There's some great people and they make some nice quality stuff. And, uh, you know, just kind of like be active. Watch my videos and if you like them, hit the like button. If you don't, you don't. But it'd be nice. It helps out. And uh, this is coming along pretty good. As you can see, the, the plane has created a nice reflection on the spheres. Give a nice lighting effect. And adding a sphere around it as like a background kinda of like gives an overall lighting effect you, know, you can add lighting if you want softbox lighting 
Uh, whatever you want, really. But I hope this tutorial helped those who was uh, requesting it. And if anybody learned anything new, please give this video a like. And, uh, leave any comments below if you have any questions. Uh, if you have any requests for tutorials, message me on YouTube. And uh, that's pretty much it. And thanks for watching.